Welcome to the 13th lecture on digital simulation. In this video, we will continue our discussion on transient simulation. In the previous lecture, uh, we reviewed three numerical methods that can be used to solve a transient simulation problem. Uh, the three methods are backward Euler method, uh, forward Euler method and trapezoidal method. Apart from these three methods, there are several other numerical methods available to solve a transient simulation problem. So from these available methods or techniques, which numerical technique to be used to solve a particular problem is uh, decided um, based on some factors. So the factors to be considered for selecting a particular numerical method are listed here. So the one factor is accuracy, accuracy of the numerical method. So if suppose we have three methods to solve a problem, then we will uh, analyze the error in the three methods and the most accurate method can be used to solve the problem. Then some numerical methods may become unstable for solving certain problems. So there are stability problems associated with numerical techniques. So we will uh, be while selecting a numerical method, we will ensure whether it is stable. So stability is second factor to be considered and the third and important factor is computation time. So if the method is uh, accurate and stable and if it gives mm, the solution in uh, less number uh, less amount of time compared to the other methods then that is the most suitable method. So these are the three factors to be considered while selecting a numerical technique accuracy, stability and computation time. So let us look at this accuracy perspective in detail. So for a finite uh, step size edge, we will be using uh, a uh, step size edge for doing these uh, numerical techniques as we have seen in the previous lecture. We will be calculating the solution at T1, then T1 plus H, then T1 plus 2H like that. So H is the step size. So for a finite step size edge, any numerical method will uh, generate some error, it will lead to some error. So two, fa two factors which are mainly responsible for this error are algorithmic error and a round of error. So there are certain approximation inherent in the algorithm. So due to the approximations inherent in the algorithm, there will be some error in the solution that is termed as algorithmic error. Then we are using a computer to solve this. Uh, problem using transient problem using numerical technique so any computer will have um, will only have a finite number of bits to represent a real number so due to this limitation there will be some round of error so these are the two sources of error uh, and this will decide the accuracy of a particular method so let us consider a uh, consider an example so suppose we have to solve this problem dx by dt is equal to minus x uh, with the initial condition x of 0 equal to 1. So this is an initial value problem and uh, this can be solved using forward Euler method. So in forward Euler method the general expression was xk plus 1 is equal to xk plus h into f of xk comma tk. So this was the uh, expression for calculating the k plus 1 the value from the kth value using forward Euler method. So here f of xk comma tk is nothing but uh, minus x minus xk. So from our general expression we know dx by dt is equal to f of t comma x or x comma t. So here in this case f of x comma t is nothing but minus x. Here it is given f of x comma t is minus x. So f of xk comma tk is nothing but minus xk. So we can uh, substitute here minus xk. So this uh, will give xk plus 1 is equal to xk plus h into minus xk. So xk plus 1 is nothing but xk into 1 minus h. So the three sources of error in xk plus 1 are one is algorithmic error due to the approximation because we are uh, truncating the uh, terms in the Taylor series from the second order terms onwards we are truncating so there is an inherent error in the 
algorithm. So that is algorithmic error. Then there is a round of error because we are using finite number of bits to represent the real numbers uh, coming in this uh, process. So there will be some round of error. Then error in the computed value of xk. So this is an important point because in order to calculate xk plus 1 we are using the previous value xk xk into f of xk comma tk into hk so in order to compute xk plus 1 we are using the past value xk so the error in the computation of xk will propagate into the computation of xk plus 1 so error in the computed value of xk from the exact value at t is equal to tk so at t is equal to tk the exact value of x may be xk cap so this may not be equal to the numerically computed value xk so due to this error uh, in computation of xk there will be error propagated to computation of xk plus 1 so these are the three sources of error in calculation of xk plus 1 in forward Euler method so if we uh, assume that we know the exact solution at the kth instant at t is equal to tk suppose the exact solution is xk cap then we can calculate xk plus 1 using that exact solution xk cap so there is no error from the past value so the error at this step is in uh, is completely exclusive for that step so that error is uh, termed as local error so if you are using the exact solution available at t is equal to tk assuming that the exact solution is available at t is equal to tk and if we are using that for computing the k plus 1 the value then the error occurring in the, that step is in termed as local error so local error at the k plus 1 the step epsilon k plus 1 is defined as the value numerical value computed at k plus 1 the step using the exact solution at k the step minus the exact solution exact value at k plus 1 the step so numerical value minus the exact value gives the error uh, which is termed as local error at that step k plus 1 the step we will define this in uh, more um, the mathematical terms in the coming videos so this is just an overview of local error and if we uh, know the uh, we know only the initial value x0 x0 at t is equal to t0 we know the initial condition so that is the exact value of x at x0 and uh, in calculating the value at t is equal to t1 x1 there will be some error then that error will propagate in the calculation of x2 at t is equal to t2 then further this error will propagate uh, till the n plus 1 the step so the n plus 1 the value xn plus 1 will have some uh, error propagating from the initial uh, point itself so if that numerical value is subtracted from the exact value at tn plus 1 then the total error is termed as global error so suppose we plot x versus x of t versus t suppose this is the uh, final uh, this is the exact plot and by using numerical technique suppose we get a plot like this at, uh, at t is equal to 0 we are starting from the same point say at t is equal to t0 we are starting from the same point then later onwards there may be some error so this uh, uh, suppose this is the n plus 1 the value and so this x of t n plus 1 the exact value minus the numerical value computed at t plus n plus 1 the step will give you the global error so we will formally define global error in the uh, next video so this is just an uh, outline of what is local error and global error then effect of step size h as h is uh, reduced the local error will uh, decrease for forward Euler and backward Euler methods it is observed that uh, the local error reduces almost at the same rate whereas for trapezoidal method the error reduced that reduces at a faster rate so trapezoidal method is uh, having lesser error error decreases at a um, faster rate in the case of uh, trapezoidal method compared to forward Euler and backward Euler so for forward Euler and backward Euler method 
and the local error is directly proportional to the square of the step size whereas for trapezoidal method it is proportional to cube of the step size so this is uh, here error is reducing at a faster rate since it is proportional to cube of the step size for, whereas for forward oiler and backward oiler error is proportional to square of the step size now i have uh, numerically solved this problem dx by dt is equal to minus x with the initial condition x of 0 equal to 1 using MATLAB so the plots are shown here uh, so the forward oiler in the method is uh, the results obtained using forward oiler method are indicated using this cross so this uh, cross shows the result obtained using uh, forward oiler method and this continuous line the solid line uh, represents the exact solution so the forward oiler solution obtained using forward oiler method is slightly lying below the exact solution then the uh, solution obtained using uh, backward oiler uh, method uh, using backward oiler method is indicated by a cross so you can see that the cross is uh, these are the points obtained using backward oiler method and those points are slightly lying above the exact uh, solution okay so this is evaluated for a step size h is equal to 0.2 then if you increase the step size h is equal to uh, say point, uh, uh, 0.5 uh, we can see that the numerical solution dvh now the interval from one value to the next value is 0.5 because the step size is 0.5 so you can see that there is a larger deviation from the exact solution in both the methods h is equal to for h is equal to 0.5 previous solution was for h is equal to 0.2 so there the uh, curves are closer to the exact solution whereas when h is equal to 0.5 they are deviating from the exact solution now if we increase the uh, step size further if we increase the step size to say h is equal to 2 because here there is one value at t is equal to 2 the second value is at t is equal to 4 so if you increase the step size to say h is equal to 2 then uh, you can observe that the forward oiler method which is indicated by this plus symbol uh, gives oscillations that shows that the method is now unstable this forward oiler method is now unstable because they, it uh, executes oscillations whereas the exact solution is shown by this solid line and you can see that the backward oiler method uh, now also backward oiler method gives a solution which is closer to the exact solution so backward oiler method is stable whereas the forward oiler method is now unstable for a larger step size so this is the numerical stability problem which i mentioned in the beginning so this forward oiler method has this uh, disadvantage it becomes unstable for larger step size now now if we uh, increase the step size further say h is equal to 2.1 in the previous case uh, the step size was h is equal to 2 and we got sustained oscillation these oscillations were of constant amplitude they are sustained oscillations if we uh, increase the step size further say h is equal to 2.1 now the oscillations are growing you can see that the oscillation amplitudes are growing growing the uh, method is uh, completely unstable previously it was between the boundary of uh, stable and unstable it was uh, continuous oscillations here uh, they are in that method forward oiler method is giving growing oscillations whereas still the backward oiler method is stable now the same problem was solved using a uh, trapezoidal rule so with the h is equal to 0.5 so here you can see the exact solution and the solution obtained using trapezoidal rule are very close enough the exact solution is represented by this uh, solid line and the trapezoidal solution obtained using trapezoidal rule uh, are indicated using this plus symbol so you can see that the solution obtained using this trapezoidal rule is very close enough to the exact solution 
whereas the solution obtained using backward Euler technique is shown using this cross symbol is points are obtained using backward Euler technique and that is slightly away from the uh, exact solution now the same uh, graph was generated for h is equal to 2.5 for h is equal to 2.5 again uh, the backward both the methods are stable but uh, due to the larger step size used uh, the both the solutions are initially away from the exact solution this is the exact solution so both methods this is uh, backward oiler solution obtained from backward oiler and this is the solution obtained from trapezoidal group so initially they are away from the exact solution later they converge there is no stability problem even if a large step size is used so the uh, i will teach you how to simulate this using matlab uh, in a future video thank you